radio since he's on the grid is uh, Alessandro Mariani, the boss of Yas Sport. Here we go for the final race of 2013. Round 24 of the FIA World Touring Car Championship on the streets of Macau. 32 cars on the grid. The 33rd of Gabriele Tarquini starts in pit lane after missing race one with an engine change that dropped him to the back of the grid. He's got a lot of fast moving metal to try and get through. And at the front of all of that, is Tom Coronel. On the left, the BMW. On the right, James Thompson's Lada. A standing start for the last race of the year. And a long hold for the lights to change. Away they go. Norman Michelic shows in the orange and black. Honda, good start from him, but already Ivan Muller is working his way through. As Ooh. Thompson comes under pressure, Michelitz is in the barriers. Broken suspension, Daste's off. Massive pileup, it's gonna be a safety car. Surely they can't clear that up. Yellow flags flutter. Daste's car is wrecked. Valon's car is wrecked. Kovslowski is wrecked. Daste was sideways in that. I think two Campos cars, Rene Munich, Tom Boardman, Uncle Tom Cobley and all. And that is going to be a safety car. Yellow flags are out. It is going to take a couple of laps at the very least to sort out all the debris. And whose car's that further up on the right, Martin? Uh, is that that is Rennie Munich. Oh, right. uh, so it is Coronel who leads from Nash and Huff and Montero. Thompson fifth, Chilton in sixth, Muller seventh, Basseng eighth, McDowell, Oriola, Engstler, Taniguchi, Charles Eng, Henry Ho, and so on down the order. Muller did well to avoid that. I think it was all started by. Chilton made a poor start and got swamped, and then they were going in three abreast. Tom Boardman arguing the odds with somebody. His car wrecked, wheels missing, it's smoking heavily. Yes, thank you very much. I've got a bit of a fire here, if you wouldn't mind. And some of the guys who got through red flag, well, that's probably not a surprise, really, because the safety car just have to lead them through. What's Michelitz? It gets four wide there, three wide. Oh, Michelitz. slide. Uh, Is that Chilton sliding? Michelitz goes off on his own. Michelitz Pins falls back, back into Chilton. the middle. Michelitz tagged the back of Chilton and then went off, of, I think. I think Tom had a slide on cold rear tyres, and I think Michelitz had a slide. Let's have a look. I think Tom gets sideways. Yep, Tom's sideways. Norby's in the barriers. Broken suspension. Oh, and as he spins... Oh, Boardman's car. Big flash of flame there. Couldn't avoid the accident by the uh, right-hand side of your picture. Yeah, all sorts of debris everywhere. Doesn't look easy. Looking back from James's car, that's one of the reasons why it's not easy. That's the nose of Rob Huff's car. Rob Huff looking for win number six here, and Chilton's car, it's not making any like noises at all, is it? Duncan Laycock on the far side of your picture there, his engineer on the radio. Hasn't got much to say. Oh, oh and we're going to have... Now, that is, I think, uh, Yuriko de Jesus trying to avoid the very slow car of Tom Chilton. I think Chilton had no drive, and we've now got a car with, at best, three wheels from what we can see, possibly two. Or is and it, here's the I replay. Has Chil Chilton... His right rear gone. No, I think he's just got no drive. And the replay... Oh! oh. Yep. That's why his right and wheel had gone. Orico de Jesus was unable to avoid him. And I think we may well see another safety car into Montero's car. It didn't do to Muller's. His car seems to be A-OK. -okay. On board with James Nash. He will close up on Rob Huff. He'll still be fourth, but he will be closer to the front of the field. And Huff has just been handed a get-out-of-jail card to get closer to the leaders and try and win race number six here in Macau to tie the new record set by Eduardo Mortara, who won the GT Cup race earlier, his sixth win on the streets of Macau. Oh, boys, you know you're behind the safety oh. car. Jeez. 
Well, that is the end of Ivar Muller's race, and that is a red flag. Franz Engsler gets into the back of Ivar Muller, and everybody piles in behind him. You know you're behind the safety car. And that, I'm afraid, is unforgivable by Engsler and by everybody else who's gotten piling into the back of cars that are stationary in front of them. That's going to take some clearing up. That's going to take some explaining, and there will be a lot of fines handed out. <laughs> rubbish. I was lucky Sorry. to get off the track. Yeah. Just rubbish. There are marshals in the road. Yellow flags, Matt, as every driving, racing driver knows, warn you that you must be prepared to stop at any time and not be going round at racing speed. And Engsler was not able to stop in what he could see. In fact, he did. It was Charles Eng who didn't. And oh. uh, the uh, Felipe de Souza, the China dragger racing uh, Chevy Cruze, also couldn't. And Gabriele Tarquini as well, when he comes into shot, he was lucky to escape. And that poor marshal standing in the road must have thought he wasn't going to survive to Christmas. Can't say a lot after that, can you? Well, there goes what remains of Ivar Muller's car and what remains of Franz Engsler's car. And, uh, in fact, that's Charles Eng's car, isn't it? That was the one that cannoned uh, Engsler into Muller. So, Charles, I'm afraid that is unforgivable. Have we done enough distance to finish the race at that? Probably. With full points. Yeah, probably or half points or something. It depends how we're doing on time. It is, it's 10 past. No, that's all right. We've still got you know, an hour and 20 minutes before the Formula 3 cars are due out. So there is time to give them a chance to do more damage. <laughs> 